Hey everyone, this is Gina with Belly Beats Paper Jewelry. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to cut your paper into shapes for that beautiful paper bead. And today I'm going to show you how to cut, um, it, well I call it the Tic Tac or a pill it looks like. It's an oval shape, it's really kind of cool. Alright, so let's get started. Today I have some help here uh, to show you how it's done. And this is how we begin. I have the uh, Cricut, again, it's the Cricut Cutter, and that comes with the Cricut Canvas software, and it's really rather easy. And here we go. So I'm just going to go through some steps very quickly, and if you have any questions, please comment on uh, below, ask me, and uh, I will do the best that I can to help you. So when we, once we choose the paper, um, Carl, you want to show me how you usually, okay, the paper's here, then we set it down on this. What size is this mat? 12 by 12. 12 by 12 mat. Once it's placed on here, it's a sticky mat, okay? It's really sticky. Um, I found, and we found that by using a roller, just to ensure that it stays down on the mat because the issues that I was experiencing was once it goes through the process of cutting the paper seemed to have been being pulled up a little bit so this uh, by using the roller ensures um, the, the paper to stay so we're going to go through this process now on the um, the Cricut software once you've designed your own pattern we then are going to click on make it and as you can see right up there, make it. And then once the um, the pattern comes up, the template, you're just going to down in the bottom. I hope you can see this. I know I apologize for the lighting in here. And then you're just going to place your mat into the um, Cricut machine. And you're going to press the arrow button to load it and you're going to press oops, I'm sorry for all the press that button right there to let it start begin and there you go so this process typically takes about five minutes and in the meantime I would be taking care of other uh, pieces of jewelry. So this allows me to do two things at once. Now, for time purpose, I had already, um, we've already cut out some templates. So I'm going to pause this, but this is the way it comes out and it's really kind of cool. It just cuts it for you. The pattern that you made on the canvas is the one that's it's cutting out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment. And I'm going to show you the um, the finished piece that we have here. Okay. All right. So here's the finished one. And Carl's going to pull it up. And this is the best way to pull it up. All right. And just start at the beginning. Sorry for his hand in the way there. Now, when you pull it up, don't yank it up because all your papers are going to curl. Slowly pull up. There is a spatula that comes with the Cricut machine. So as you can see how nicely it's being put up, very easy. And if you have anything to um, hold down your mat, you can use a clamp, such as the one that he's using right there. Keep pulling up, slowly. See how they're pulling? So you want to do this very slowly. And there goes your pieces. So we're going to pull out one of the pieces and you're going to see how nice of a clean cut. There you go. Look at that. Okay. If you have any questions, please, you know, put everything in the comments. You can email me, uh, Facebook, and um, thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.